Hello, so we're going to talk today about the strength grading of timber. So when you're ordering timber, you'll notice that it usually comes out with a code in front of it. It'll either have an F with a number or MGP with a number. And some of the more common numbers are F5 through to F27 or MBG10 through to 15. So what do these actually mean? Well, to explain that, we're going to have a little bit of a history lesson. So back in the day, we had this book. It's called the Trade Act, the Timber Framing Manual. There was a version for different parts of the country, depending what wind rating you're in. So this is the one we used for southeast Queensland, Brisbane area. The cyclonic areas would have a, uh, a higher wind rating. But this was basically the Carpenter's Bible. It was the uh, building code, basically, for a carpenter to have on site. So when you looked through here, there were all sorts of uh, rules and regulations around building practices. And if you've been looking through 1684, you'll probably recognize some of these diagrams. And then in the back of the book were span tables. So you could work out what size piece of timber you needed for different purposes. So if we have a quick look at a span table. So across the top row here, you'll see we've got a uh, range of F ratings from F4 all the way up to F27 and that was basically a rating of how strong the timber is. So a strong piece of timber didn't need to be as big as a weaker piece of timber in order to carry the same load. And that's what we used when I started out in the industry. So if we have a look here we can see, look at that September 1992. If you're an apprentice watching this video, you probably weren't born then. God, I feel old. So that's what we use. That was the Trade Act. But at some point they decided they're not going to use that anymore. They went to the AS 1684 and this is the uh, 1999 version. But let's instead have a quick look at a more recent one. This is the 2010 version. And this should be the one that you're using currently. The difference with this book is it's a slightly bigger book. You'll see all of the uh, building regulations are in there for a timber framed house. But the span tables are no longer in the book. Span tables now come in a CD. So when we flick over to this page here, here's a list of all the span tables that come in that CD. And you'll notice now, instead of having all of the strength grades in together like the Trade Act had, they are all separated out into separate span tables. So this list of span tables are all the non-cyclonic area span tables. They're divided into three different sections, N1, N2, second one is N3, and the third one is N4. And then each wind rating is broken up into all the separate strength gradings of the timber. So you'll notice now this is the other change they made when they went from Trade Act to Australian Standard. You'll notice they have F ratings and they have MGP ratings. And that's because the method they used to grade how strong this timber was and how much load it could carry was a method called allowable stress. And that's just an engineering term. It's a way of calculating things. The only disadvantage to using this method is that because of the properties of the framing pine that we use, this method underestimated the capabilities that pine have when used in a construction setting. So for pine, they went to a new method called limit state design. And that's another engineering term. And it's just a, a different way of calculating how strong a piece of timber needs to be. So now generally we use allowable stress for hardwoods and limit states design for softwoods. So allowable stress gives us the F ratings and limit state design gives us the MGP ratings for machine graded pine. Now you can still get F5 and F7, which are the pines, but generally they're, they're usually the unseasoned fence rail most of the time. Nearly all the framing pine we get is MGP something. Except for cypress pine, cypress pine still comes in F ratings. You can get F5 and F7 cypress. The F14, 17 and 27 are our hardwoods. Thank you and good luck.